Hey folks, well this is going to be just a short video because it's really late and I ought to go to bed. It's 20 to 5 in the morning here. But I just, well I did actually do a video on Sunday night but I didn't actually upload it because it ended up being too long. But there's a worrying trend emerging within this Santos following Flat Earth promoting brigade uh, that is aligning itself to Nazism. That's all I can say. Um, it's it's quite worrying now I don't watch his videos really except recently I've flicked through them because I'm interested in the way he twists up astrology and I've listened to what he's got to say with more and more incredulousness if that's a word but he said something quite worrying just on this clip I'm going to show you now and this echoes what I tried to do the video about on Sunday night um, because he posted something on his Facebook page which is basically creepy videos trying to promote Hitler as a good person. Now we've got two issues going on here. If people want to believe that the Earth's flat that's their choice. People can believe what they like. But the thing is that there's an element of this whole movement which I believe that is becoming radicalized and people like Santos are sort of turning it into a cult. He's turning it into a belief with emotion. You see, we may believe all sorts of things. I might believe, well, I do believe that when you're dead, you're not dead. But it's it's not, I don't go around pro proclaiming it. Uh, you know, if you want to believe that when you're dead, you're dead, that's up to you. Anybody that starts proclaiming their truth or what they believe is the truth with an emotional twist that's ultimately full of duality, full of us versus themism. He's always going on about demons, demon worshippers. Anybody that doesn't believe what he believes is a demon worshipper, but he mixes things up. One week he says this, this, that, and the other about the planets. He's likened the moon to demon moon money. You need money to get to the moon, you know. And then he'll say the, the same planets that he's talking about are the way up to heaven. It's rubbish. I'm going off the point. I want to keep this simple. So there's a worrying trend here that's emerging, which is gaining huge momentum. I think we have to say that so far, even though we haven't even got to the end of January, there's been such a huge rise in this whole uh, movement. It's worrying. Anyway, I'm just going to play you now this clip. In his book on the... Uh Go bull crap that he wrote about because he was a Jesuit and a demon worshipper and a swine eater. Of course, they all are. All swine, all the good philosophers were vegetarian, folks. Remember this the Neoplatonists, Plato, Emerson, Pythagoras, Socrates, they were all vegetarian. Period. 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 Da Vinci. All vegetarians. Hitler was a vegetarian too, loved animals. Remember that, because Hitler came to save the world. Yeah, the he caught the yeah, Kazari. He vegetarianism. Sorry? He fought the vegetarianism. He made it like a law in Germany. Absolutely, because he was he was a transcendental scientist. He was not into speculative buffoon science. This is why they've gone so far out of the way to make him look like a villain and an evil criminal. He was nothing of the sort. He was a true, true hero, just like... Well, I think that's enough of that. I mean, as you can see, we've got a problem here. Um, he's posted some creepy videos here. Get yourselves learned up about Hitler, folks. The evil scum that he was trying to stop are still in the media and are still polluting the world with their lies, wakey wakey. And this one is a very, very creepy one. Um, I've not listened to all of it, but I'll play you a bit of it because there's a very strange person talking on here. Everything faded into mist. The past was erased. The erasure was forgotten. The lie became truth. That's by George Orwell. But what is that saying in this video? Let me just... In Hitler Uncensored, I discussed with Mike Walsh the truth about Hitler's Germany. 
and some common misconceptions and lies dictated by the victors. Today, I want to share with you an interview Mike and I had that we hope will give you more context to this incredibly contrived period in history and why it is important to discuss. Most of what we know, or rather think we know, about Hitler's Germany relates to the Second World War. But Germany was at peace for much longer than it was at war. I was curious. I'm just going to fast forward this because I want you to hear this folks' voice. In, in good faith, disarmed, as the other nations had promised to do. Then, in 1919, when Germany was defenseless, a food blockade was imposed by England's Royal Navy. This blockade on German ports led to the death by starvation of just under one million German people. Deprived of the means to defend herself, the country's desperate leadership was forced to accept what basically amounted to the status of a slave state. Germany? I think we've heard enough. I just want to say that it's a very strange situation that's going on here. That voice in, in this particular video, Hitler Uncensored 2, I don't know if it's on YouTube, it might be, but yeah, that's a funny voice, that is. It's kind of like a, it's almost sounds like a propaganda voice to me. It's sort of like a, a funny old mixture of, it's an English dialect. I don't know, it's just dodgy, the whole thing's dodgy, but I think this has reached a new level of dodginess. And what he said, going back to Santos, Hitler was a vegetarian, and then the, um, you know, the person interviewing said, yes, Hitler passed a law in Germany. I can't find any evidence of that. There's no proof that Hitler was a vegetarian. And this is where it's getting worrying. And the other thing I've noticed, a similarity here, is listening to bits of Santos's waffle, just because I'm sort of curious to see what he's saying about astrology. The message of what he's saying is, is follow me, people. Get pure, follow the light. Go, and, go out and slay the demon worshippers. It's like, hand over to me your trust. Hand over to me your belief. Believe what I say, stay with me and you'll be saved. He's offering salvation. You know, he's, he's saying it's, it's sort of lulling you in. I mean, I just listen to it, as I say, to sort of fish, fish out bits like I've just fished out. But there's a sort of a, a lilting, almost like the Pied Piper lure to it. Don't worry, I'm not going to get lured in. But isn't that what Hitler did? Lured people into a belief system. Isn't that what a cult is? sucking people in and, and when you sort of get a cause that's very noble which is vegetarianism you know I think it would be great if no one in the earth ate animals in an ideal world if we were all like you know super enlightened and ate pure food grown in non GMO environments uh, everything would be fantastic but we don't live in that world. But when you get a noble uh, cause like vegetarianism and align it to your cause, which he's aligning it to his flat earth cause, because he's saying that, you know, the people who don't believe in the flat earth are demon worshipping manipulators who are keeping us enslaved in this lie. Well, it's, it's just all emotional. It's all very, very disconcerting. So anyway, I'm not going to go on anymore because I'll end up waffling for too long. I could speak about it for a lot longer, but I better not. So I just thought that that was quite shocking to show you, to be honest. And, um, and let's just be aware of it because, don't get me wrong, if people want to believe that the Earth's flat, that is up to them. But there's a whole danger here of people being sucked in uh, and radicalised to, to go out and you know, slay the demon worshippers. He's quite blatant in it. You know, he, he he's, you know, calls people out who, who he believes are, are demon worshippers. I'm not going to say who and where and what because I haven't got time and I don't want to, you know, attract more duality to the whole debate. It's just a problem and I just thought I'd be showing you that because, you know, in the past when we used to talk about the Time Wave Zero application and, uh, if you know what that is, and I'm, I'm going to go into waffle if I'm not careful here. But, um, yeah, I just thought this was a, uh, 
something to note, but just to go back to the time wave zero application, because I just finished half a sentence, I'm really tired. Um, you know, you basically have phases in time that correspond to other phases in time, and this is just a worrying phenomenon. I'm going to go now. So anyway, thanks and bye.